everyone, Unlimited Ammo here, and we're taking a look at Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel. Now, it's an old game, released in 2001, but it's one of my, one of my favorite games. It's not high on the list, but I, I really enjoyed it. I remember lots of good memories of playing it. It was a nice, challenging game. It's based off Fallout. I got the Fallout Tech. Uh, it's an actual part of the series. A lot of people didn't like it too much because, as opposed to Fallout 1 and 2, which are you're a single character, you have this big open-ended quest that you go out to achieve, similar to also Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Fallout Tactics is entirely mission-based and entirely revolves around combat. So you're not doing missions, you're not doing fetch quests, you're just, you have an objective, you go to a map, you have an objective, you fight your way through it, complete the objective, and you're done. There's not a lot of adventure, not a lot of questing, so you don't expect it to be like a normal file game. If you come with that with the right mindset, it could be a lot of fun, the combat system's good. You get a whole squad of whole squad of soldiers to command, which gets really interesting because then you end up recruiting super mutants and death claws and other fallout creatures that you normally won't be able to control. And that's why I like it a lot. It's also it's, we're, we're playing the release version. There is a Fallout Tactics Redux, which fix, fixes a lot of the bugs and fixes the weapon names, because a lot of weapons are named after real life weapons, which doesn't make any sense because Fallout is an alternate universe where these these weapons are never created. So I I wouldn't I couldn't find a mirror to download that mod that wasn't riddled with malware. So we're just gonna play Vanilla. It is available on Steam and GoodOldGames.com, but we're actually playing the disc version because we are awesome and found the disc and now we're going to use it. So I'm taking small guns for the early game, energy weapons for late game, because your avatar needs to be part of the squad for the entire time, and he needs to pull his weight the entire time, because it's not an easy game. Remember there's a portrait that I always took. This guy. I really like this guy for some reason, so we're going to take him. I'll have some, have some crazy hair. This is red hair. That's ugly. This is white hair. Not that if you have red hair, you're ugly. I just meant that particular hair does not seem very good. Also have white skin. We'll just be some crazy albino looking dude. Should be really rough and radiated wasteland. Also turn tough guy on. It's basically the Iron Man mode. You can only save in between missions and bunkers. Take our strength. I don't remember the strength requirements for all the weapons, but six should be good enough for all the small arms and energy weapons that we're going to use. Don't need charisma. I don't remember that being at all useful. There's a lot of skills and stats that are not useful because it's entirely combat based. So we don't need charisma, it's not, a combat it's not a combat trait. So we don't need any of that. We can just ditch that. Uh, don't uh, get a little bit more perception for a ranged modifier. We can hit things more easily. Agility for the skill bonuses. Luck for the critical hit chance up. And intelligence for the bonus skills. I don't like having seven of everything though. What can we take out? We can take out a little bit of endurance. Because even though it's important for us not to die, how many hit points? Lose a couple hit points and a couple hit points per level. But it's important for us not to die. So that's why we're gonna be sitting back. We're gonna be we're gonna be staying safe. Also give us first aid so we can patch ourselves up in case we get hit. So, traits. Small frame, you get a bonus stat, and you just lose some carry weight. Which is fine, because we have a whole squad to carry our junk for us. We don't need to carry anything. I don't want any of these other ones. Everything's ready to go. Got a name. If you put anything there, I think... I don't remember what it does. Don't know if you... Or no name, unnamed, or just as a name. Let's make up an age. Pretty sure you can be something ridiculous. Be a thousand years old. Oh no, it just sets to 65. Can we, can we be 99? No, 65 is the maximum age. Can we be like 13? 16 is the minimum age. Alright, well, we'll just, we'll just shoot around the middle, I guess. Doesn't make any difference. You can't change your race. They made this a button. But you can't click the button, so you can't just start off as a death claw, which is very disappointing. We'll let you watch this great 2001 cutscene. Mutated redneck green skin sacks of irradiated flesh. Listen up. I am Paladin Rychek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. 
In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, brahmin kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll go to the surrounding villages and see what able-bodied primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best and brightest for Brotherhood training. Now get your weak-kneed, superstitious, soft-skinned, uneducated butts to the armory. You will be issued basic weapons and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with Brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. And one final thing, ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. At ease, Wasn't that fantastic? My name is General Barnaby. Also, this is Arlie Ermy that narrates our briefing for us, which is really great. But, but it's a lot of unnecessary information. He's just telling us that there's this village here, been raided by raiders, and it's our job to save them. Start off with me, far sight's a sniper, and Stitch is a doctor. I remember all this from like 12 years ago, whenever last time I played this game was. Greetings to the Brotherhood of Steel. This game was not you easy. Speaking with Charon like I said I never beat it. So I went through the first mission several times. Also to try different character starts. Get up here and see if they hit us. Yep, alright. This lady sauce, let's get her sniper up here, start shooting her down. My sniper, I mean lady with a rifle that has decent small arms stat right now because all our characters are level one and have really bad stats so we're we're gonna be struggling to hit a lot of a lot of our enemies here also I remember this lady starts shooting at you but there's also yeah, a guard and a guard dog over here on the right so if you ignore that there's gonna come over and kill you so I have a shotgun go take care of that Can you hit? Not very well. Move here. There we go. Got our damage lock here. Also switch to a map. Pretty cute. Alright, let's annihilate this dog. Actually, let's get a little closer. Alright. Good night, puppy. Oh, we missed. That is unfortunate. Now you are going to take a little bit of damage from that. It's your own fault for missing the really easy shot. It's unfortunate we have to put our avatar in harm's way like this, but they only start first mission, you only have these three guys. We don't have much, don't have much choice here. Oh, we actually got hit. Well, the dog apparently didn't have enough AP to fight. Uh-oh. See, she uh, maneuvered. That means she's in the cone of fire. Could take damage there. That's pretty bad. So I don't want to risk. Yeah, this range it wouldn't do a lot of damage. So we can, we can try again. Yeah, I missed horribly. Yeah, take that dog out. Okay, that was a good hit. Okay, well, yeah, let's cover the rock. Alright, she's dead, good job. Let's take care of this last guy. That's the highest sequence to the laser sniper. Nope, it is it is stitch. Good doctor. It's not a very good shot, but take it away. Usually they try to retreat or take cover when they take a lot of damage. 
remember thinking that was pretty cool. Because of course it was 2001, so it's like, oh. All these things nowadays I think super lame. Back then seemed really cool. Uh, still not a great shot. And now he's ducking down. So we can't actually get a cover bonus when you change positions and also an aim bonus. Cost of maneuverability and you take more melee damage. Or easier to hit in melee, at least. I don't think it actually affects the damage. Do you have any AP points AP do we have? It said A points, that doesn't that's not that's not how you say that. Alright, two there. I still missed can't how just just hit him. Eating all our ammo. Making these above fifty percent chance shots that are not landing. Oops, can't burst from there. Just just bam. Nope, okay. This one though. There we go. So we took unreasonable amount of damage from that one guy with the pistol. Take all the stuff. We'll give his 9mm to Avatar because he has a 9mm gun. You like the MP5 HK? Uh, I don't think that's a Fallout weapon. That isn't. That's not something you're supposed to. He's a real hunting rifle. That's a good old Fallout standard weapon. Pump action shotgun. All right, that's appropriate. Uh, nine millimeter mouser, not, not really. That's not, they're not supposed to be those kind of real weapons in the Fallout universe. A lot of people have to take problem with that. Never really noticed it too much when I was younger. But now that's been pointed out to me, I can understand why that would make some people kind of upset. You can't see him. Come on. I need to go away over here. We're just gonna charge him. He's a little pistol. Should be fine. There's no hard cover system. If you're kneeling behind sandbags, you will get be harder to hit. But you're not actually taking cover. There's no covers, hard cover system. And yeah. there we go. Jerk! Why did you shoot Stitch? He's gonna die. I really don't want him to die. He's, we need the help right now. You, you duck down. I don't want you to get hit anymore. He's close. If you have a long weapon, uh, sniper rifle in particular, then when they get too close, your chances to hit go down. It's kind of a typical gamey thing nowadays, though. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage to these first few guys. I don't like it. Hit him, hit him once, almost did. Nope, you, you messed up. How about now? Nope, still not. Ah, you guys, their skills are so bad. It's alright, as long as they don't die, we can heal them up easily enough. Alright, just get down. So you better run. You can see we can see this guy in here. He's in range of someone's perception, probably the avatar. Yeah, hit him, good job. Still didn't kill him though. Oh, beautiful. I think did he just hear hear that? sense if he did, because he's right there, and the gunshots are happening outside. You can overwatch, but it takes all of your action points. can't do anything else in your turn if you're going overwatch. 
see if he comes out of Nautilus in combat. No, he's not coming out, so he's in combat. Now we need to heal. Go heal our, heal our sniper. Nicely healed. Apparently he's a little harder to work on. Fully healed. Read these bodies. More ammo. Can sell what we take back to the Brotherhood. And get equipment from them. Seems kinda kinda weird because we're official supposed to be official Brotherhood of Steel warriors. I think they'll just give us all the equipment we need, but. The Midwest Brotherhood of Steel, they do things differently. I saw this guy in here, so let's send our stack up on the door. And send in send the shotgun in first. Oh. Something to hit him before. We took too much damage. Good shooting. Good shooting for a second. Can you get right there? And that should be enough for a burst. Oh, come on. Can't hit your own guy shooting through him like that with a single shot weapon. It's not a huge risk. I don't know what weapon he's using. So I don't know if it's particularly dangerous at this range or not. <laughs> because all of our soldiers have terrible skills, these firefights are going to take a while. Even with a shotgun and a fully automatic weapon at close range. Kind of make... Not too surprising though if these are, uh... Tribesmen recruited. They might not have ever used firearms before. That's that's what these things just bursting. I think we're actually. I think I saw that stitch is actually almost out of shotgun rounds. He's actually gonna almost did. There we go. There we go. That's right. Get his dead body. Nine millimeters that goes to our avatar. Yeah, he's a uh, dangerously low on shotgun ammo. So hopefully we can find some more. Otherwise, I guess he's just going to use something. Maybe just bring out that baseball bat. That baseball bat in here, just in case. We get some faces. Getting lots of stim packs, it's great. Old uh classic fallout item, a stim pack. Get that insta healing going. I don't have a backup range weapon. We have an Uzi, it's a nine millimeter. Pistols nine millimeter. Got a 9mm Beretta. Here, I have the Colt 45. So I want everyone to be using different ammo. Alright, stack up on this door. Let's send... I don't want to go in first, because... He's an Avatar's an important guy, he can't die. So I'm locked up that key we found that chest. Let's just run in here and shoot this guy. Right there. Actually, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, no, he saw us. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, shoot him. Combat doesn't actually start until someone shoots. 
So he saw us, but he didn't start combat though because he didn't take an aggressive action. Kill him, let's just go over here. Hiding behind that wall. Hopefully he doesn't stay hiding. I'll just move up. Are you are you seriously running away? What's wrong with you? We have a, we have we're doing something here. There's also a dog out here. Alright, get outside the building a little bit. Man, he is really booking it. I know for a fact, mission you can't. Then we can't leave the mission area. So I don't know where he thinks he's going. And we're not shocking ammo. I don't want to do triples. Need these things. I guess we're all just going to hang out outside. We can come back and loot this little little area later. And that does not give you enough for a shot. Can't tell if this dog is coming or not. Oh, it's definitely coming. Oh, hello. Oh, now this guy's here. That sounds like a shotgun. Ouch. Almost one shot our sniper. Not okay with that. Only 10% and 0%. That's real bad. And you are terrible at your jobs. You can't actually hit anything. How many points does it take to get our inventory? Apparently... No, okay. You can say apparently none to access our inventory? Should put the... Yeah, you need to get that. You can't get too far down. You need to stick back yourself. He's way more dangerous, but he's a much better, better shot. And you missed him. You messed up anyway. Oh, jeez. Oh, Farsight's so dead. You might just have to retreat. Oh. Apparently that dog has no hit points. I don't know how we're going to handle this guy. Because getting close to him using melee weapons is probably not a good idea. Because he has a shotgun. Let's swing out wide. You just need to get down and hide. Can you use it on yourself? Yeah, you can. Let's reload while you're down. The enemy can run out of ammo. So we keep dancing around. Long range, maybe he will. Oh, don't, don't come back in. Don't, don't, don't do this. Why can't you hit anything, Stitch? You're so bad. I'll take a shot of that guy. I don't want him to stand up and kill you. We have lots of step backs. Alright, he's missing all the shots. It's fantastic. Let's hope he continues to do so. Sorry, you better run. Get out of here. I don't want to get close. He's gonna murder us. We do get close, we can keep him down. Let's back up a little bit. Guess maybe just get some range on him, and then use our sniper to outrange him. Oh no, he wants some. <laughs> he's not okay with that idea. I don't want to burst because he's too close to our other guy. He's probably going to activate other enemies and give me a headache. Smack the baseball bat. Let's get out of here. He 
probably ran out of shotgun ammo, yeah. Which unfortunately means we can't loot shotgun ammo off him. No zero percent chance, but I don't care. I was about sending a message. Get up smack this dude to the bat. Get over here, Gertie, shoot him. We still need to go way back and like these shells and these corpses. It's a battle drug out way further than I expected. And there we go. So far as that way back here, go pick everything up. Let's reload. Got some nine millimeters. And it should be yeah, at least that shelf in here. Pick up the booze and broken bottles. It's not really worth much though. Pick up the booze. Anything on the map? Nope. Looks like it's just that shelf in there. Those are drugs. Man, it's crazy how much of this I remember. More 9mm. Yeah, we just got drugs off that shelf, which we're not going to use because, you know, drugs are bad kids. Mostly because we're not going to use them because their benefits don't really outweigh their risks. Looks like we have some sleeping dogs and a sleeping raider. Let's see if we can, can we sneak? Let's uh, have you take care of him. You have a melee weapon, right? Yeah. You can't load the weapons. Oh no, don't don't do that. No, nine millimeters. You can go stab that dog. And just smack this dog with your base all that. Oh no, he woke up. Oh no. Taking way too long with that. Stab it in the head. <laughs> nice. Apparently, the dogs have very low hit points. She woke up. Which is fine. Stand right next to her with an automatic weapon. Okay, we have to hit it. Shot at each, and you miss both. Okay. What beautiful! By beautiful, I mean that was poorly executed. You should have hit them all before we woke up, before they woke up, but whatever. It's good enough. We got a couple shotgun shells. Give those to our man without a without a weapon. Probably just to uh, have him replace his melee weapon because he doesn't need the pistol because he can't do anything with it. Why are you going over there? This is a ranch. Is there anything here to loot other than the body? Nope. Do not shoot the cow. The Brahmin. Sorry. Now we got a whole mess of people in here. But remember, these are tribals. No, the prisoners right now, so they're not going to hurt us. Let's see if we can sneak inside. Nope, she cannot sneak. For some reason. She's immediately detected. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, just shoot him. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Stop trying to be stealthy when we don't have stealthy characters. Is she in the building? No, she was around the corner. Hey kitty, I hear you. Shh. Oh, aren't you a cute cat? Let's walk 
around here. Just, just ignore that guy. You can go get. You can go get him. We'll take care of. We'll take care of this guy here. Gonna be kind of rough to uh. Kind of rough to get. Oh, okay, never mind. He got himself covered. So it's kind of hard to shoot him with all these innocent people around. But he's gonna put himself in the corner. So now I can't burst him because I put my other character right behind him. Probably poor choice. Get a shot. Nope. Let him run inside. You know you guys can all just get up and like punch them. That would actually really help me. I guess my ammo. Oopsie. Only has one shot left. Better make it count. Can you shoot him through the... Yeah, you can. Through the drapes? Through the... I don't know what the... what these are. I guess maybe they're Brahmin hides. They're hanging to tan or something like that. It's a really awkward shot. You take it anyway. One more action point. Scoot up just a tiny bit. Gotta use the shotgun ammo efficiently. Cause we don't have a lot of it. I have a ton of, ton of rifle ammo though. Oh, she actually hit him. Did not expect that. Two can I aim Yes. Or a 9mm. He might just have to switch to a 9mm weapon. Because it doesn't seem like we're getting enough, uh... Enough shotgun shells to support him. So we have here an Uzi. That's a 9mm, right? First aid him. Actually, we'll just let him use a. Let him use a stim pack. So use too much first aid. You're gonna get a special status called ban bandaged, and then you can't get any first aid at all. So we're gonna save that for really severe wounds. There's probably an enemy in this house. I'm almost sure I remember there being an enemy in this house. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, there's not an enemy in this house, and just that one outside. Yeah, looks like this house is clear. So I guess we have to just use our close range, close range guys to assault, and have our sniper to keep shooting, and try to wound her. Don't run. Is that you? Just make you just make this a lot less convenient. Also, guard in that guardhouse. An eye on it. He wants to get involved. There is someone in the house. How did I not see the guy in the house? He hits kind of hard, apparently. Man, you're slow. Stitch, we need to talk about some things. Uh oh. I'm getting out of hand real fast. Far side's taking care of it. Oh, what's bad? Don't, don't die. Remember this game being challenging. I 
how much did you use? Three. I'll just get like right up on him. Beautiful. Now come help. Come help me. Will you? Will you stop? Will you stop kiting me? I know what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully she doesn't get a crit or something. Because this game's not afraid just to let the enemy crit you for 50 damage and then you die and that's just the end of the mission. It's a pretty unforgiving game. Let's go get this guy that ambushed us from this house that wasn't supposed to have anything in it. Got some more 9mm. Was that a spear gun? Oh, shotgun shells. I still win spear gun. So I was making funny noises. Taking a fair bit of damage so far. Oh, she also had a hunting rifle. I'll explain the aggravating range and accuracy on her. Actually, we have a, now we have an extra hunting rifle, so maybe we should use that. This burst fire is pretty good, though. Having this uh, range might be might be really good as well. Now we'll see. We'll keep it around. You can use this. Remember, double clicking actually works for using items. Remember, laughing this game. I'll just charge up to the door, see if this guy responds. Oh, he found us. Is this door locked? It is locked. I don't think we got a key for it. Can you lockpick, like, in combat? Looks difficult. Okay, so we're gonna have to use that key. Maybe it's the key Stitch is carrying already. We should just build springs. So take them out. He's just he's just sitting kneeling there in the middle. Shouldn't be hard to hit. Guys are making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Fortunately, Stitch doesn't have enough action points to. Take two shots. There we go. We use stim packs to keep our health topped off. We use first aid when we have a more serious injuries. Yeah, it was that key that Stitch is holding on to. Okay, I guess I'm just walking off. See you later. Lots more shotgun. That's good. Yeah, but no, okay, bye. No, I'm back. Did she can get the ammo to her? We have about enough shotgun to use your shotgun again for ten shots. Hmm. Yeah. We'll save it up for a little bit longer. Okay, that's 20 shotgun shells. Okay, now I'll definitely use a shotgun. Of course it's locked. Of course it would be arbitrarily locked with the same key that we already got a while ago. This is what video games used to be like. I'm just kind of blindly running in here. Oh, and we got seen. I don't have the patience for all this slow, slow approach. This is an XCOM. 38%. This guy's the best shot, I guess. You missed. Down for the extra uh, bonus cover. Don't go up, run. 
just run. You should have always run on. Make this little, little more convenient to control. I don't want to deal these guys over here. So let's just try to take this bunker and deal with those guys. Actually, landing a lot of these low chance hits, which is like the opposite of what happens in XCOM, in which you miss anything that's like not 70%. So, we uh, have bigger guns than these guys do, basically, so we can just run in here and be a little careless. Gun, spray all these guys. And we don't need you to get open this door and not be able to do anything. Man, these guys have really bad aim. I do not mind. Try to get out of the way, and stitch can come in and finish off. And hit that guy. Did he? Actually, he did not hit the other guy. It just looked like it. Oh, these guys are really bad. I'm sorry though, I don't mind. Guy over here. Actually, hit stitch. Okay, this guy's almost dead. I can see it right there. So it's almost dead. Just finish him off. All right, this guy's apparently pretty tough. Let's see if we can end combat. Isn't there another? I swear, there's another guy out here. Yeah, he was right there. Because she was running, she didn't get all her AP back. Let's get, oh no, don't go that way. Well, too late now. I'll just run up on him and take him out. Standard procedure. Fine, we, can, we can go prone too. Hopefully, there's no one over here. Okay. He was on Overwatch. The enemy rarely goes on Overwatch. It actually sounds like he has a decent weapon. Or if he's still on Overwatch. Let's find out. No. The answer is no. Is it actually really dangerous to get that close when he has a burst weapon? Could easily just been one shot of there. There we go. Alright, what do we get? Sector of goodies. Ammo. Ammo and a steel lead pipe? Iron pipe? Should be at least like halfway through level craft to go through all these. This area. I remember this is the boss the boss room. So we're getting close. These missions are not short missions. Alright, let's ammo. No, I should have enough ammo. Everyone should be carrying enough ammo. We don't have to do any any sharing right now. Grenades? 
I don't think anyone has enough throwing skill to be trusted with grenades right now. So we're just going north. There's a crate up here. Let's see what's in the crate. Send you in case there's a surprise up here. There is a surprise up here. Ouch. Ouch. You can, like, I don't know, grab the door or something. It's that guy. You need to get up here and help. So do not want Stitch to die. That's alright, he can take care of himself. No Stitch, no. Bandage yourself. There you go, Fluff. And now he's bandaged, so we can't heal him anymore with the first aid. It's gonna take us. It's gonna take a while for that to actually go away. You can still be healed with just impact, so it's not. It's not the worst thing ever. And I still. If someone's gonna die, it's not gonna be. Can't be the main character, so we're still gonna send him first. Even though now it's gonna be more expensive to heal him. Punch him? No, don't. You want to just walk behind him. That was a miscliff on my part, though. Alright, that guy was easy. He just kind of slapped, slapped us as he came around the corner and then died. Five more enemies around here. Avatar has decent perception, so he can he can notice them from relatively far away. Don't run. We talked about this. Running makes this tedious. All right, just be hyper aggressive. Still, they only have small, small crummy pistols. I've only seen a few guys actually better armed than that. I'm afraid it's going to be someone around the corner, but our perception should pick them up if there's anyone around here. Nah, no, I moved a little too far. Keep him down. Or just kill them, I guess. Take all the kills, that's cool too. Oh wow. There's, uh, there's some more enemies in here. My perception did not attack to pick them up. It sounds like a hunting rifle. Which we need to remove ASAP. Oh, you moved four, not five. Get get out of here. Don't move the body. Not right now, it's not an appropriate time for that. Now is not the time to use this stitch. Taking bad damage. We don't be taking damage. He's concussed. One thing I like about the early Fallout games, more than the modern Fallout games, that those uh, critical hit modifiers are like way more significant. I'm saying I don't love modern Fallout games, but it seems like if you crit a leg or crit their head, it makes essentially no difference to the rest of the fight. I'm going to go around this side, take the scab this way. I really don't want to use more shock and aim on him. But he's making it Making it difficult. And there's a dog, surprise. Stitch should be able to take care of that pretty easily. Though. It's winded, that's good. I think that reduces his AP, maybe? I don't remember for sure what all this different statuses do. Actually, 
you shouldn't use the shotgun shell, should have smacked the face a little bit. Awful and it mainly open equipped. So that makes drone targets are very vulnerable to melee. Got it. No, yes, yeah, more. some more left. This poor guy is cornered and I'm oh, about to get really messed up. Pew 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 pew. Let's hit him with our base a bit. Can we just like rub on him and stab him with his knife too? Oh, can she now reach? Oh, it doesn't look like. Looks like she's blocked. Shot again, actually. We don't even see him. Just smack him. Melee combat's really fun in the Fallout universe. I always thought it's not always effective. It's obviously running towards someone who has a plasma rifle or something. It's awfully hazardous. We need more stim packs on our avatar. Who has a bunch of stim packs? You have a whole ton of stim packs. Alright, there we go. Put these bodies. We'll head out into the final final area out there. Mm. Drugs? Yeah, after burning them. Pretty sure it's a drug. It's not a drug. It's, it's amphetamines. That's definitely a drug. Oh, hello, sir. I guess since we're so close, let's reach out and touch someone. Uh, that's not really anywhere worth aiming. So we'll just stab him. And by stab, I mean miss. Just swing and miss. He's very dramatic. Oh, come on, don't tell me you can't get in there. We gotta use this baseball bat we found. Critical for three points of damage. She can still stab him somewhere for that. Can't burst, because obviously he's surrounded by our allies, and we'll just kill our own teammates. And that is extremely dangerous, he has a burst weapon. Trying to hit him with melee combat. And it was successful. So we're taking a lot of stupid risks, but it's paying off so far. Maybe like half the ammo to him. And the other half to stitch in case he runs out of shotgun ammo. How much shotgun ammo do you have? Enough. Let's get outside. Anyone outside? Cows. He's that. These guys. Oh, and I saw us now running away. Let's go find them. Don't go in the building until we get these guys on the outside. Where did they go? They just... Okay, there's three of them over here. That's that's quite a bit to deal with. I really wish there was a door here that we just bypass like half that level. Obviously, I did that on purpose. Okay, just stop. Just, let's just get into combat. Oh my gosh, shoot. No, it was the wrong button. That was my bad. It's hitting the wrong button. Because she had her knife out, so she went up to stab them. And then to shoot them. Oh, don't go, don't go five. This is bad. That's good. Get closer. Try drawing some shots. Because now we have a whole lot of firepower in front of us. Really need to take her down. Just die, please die. Thank you. Now 
far as I can kneel down. It sounded like a shotgun. I'm not comfortable with that. Kneel. Take a shot. Go bro. Really hurt, but hopefully they will continue to take shots that are more vulnerable targets. That is a deadly shotgun, that is very dangerous. We need we need to kill you. Luckily your aim is terrible. Uh oh, this was our aim. Finish off. Oh god, no. Oh no, stitch is a gunner. What? Uh oh, he shot Stitch, missed, and killed our sniper. I was back here, prone. Oh no. Rip a far sight. How can you seriously not hit anyone? Oh, hopefully, he doesn't finish off Stitch. Okay. He did not. Having a death battle over here, and are still failing. I don't think he has enough to use his stim pack. He does. Probably won't save him if he gets hit, but whatever. Okay, now we can move up to burst this guy again. Oh, come on. That was a terrible shot. But yeah, don't run. Killed our sniper. We're not gonna be able to hit you if you get too far away. Alright, so Stitch is... I mean, Farsight is dead, which is pretty bad. It's gonna really affect our, uh, our party coming up, because we're gonna have a very powerful member, because we're not gonna have that sniper with the early experience. That's right, our... Avatar's gonna have a sniper build so you can just take that man. Especially now that the first mission's gonna be over, so we don't need to worry about having we have another character recruited to be this assault role. Wasn't it sad that keeps trying to go to far side, but she's dead. Probably should have had her use some uh stim packs, but I was pretty confident they weren't gonna shoot her. And I really did not expect to for that stray shot to go kill her. Because I should have expected it being a shotgun, so it's more likely to happen. Whatever, it's in the past. Gotta move on. We will... She will be remembered. Hopefully we can breach the little final... final area here with only two soldiers. Give us just a shotgun ammo, because he's going to need it. Can either of you throw? Do either of you have the ability to throw? Where's throwing? No. 32. Eh. Just too dangerous to use those grenades. Probably going to just blow ourselves up. And here we go. Maybe I'm going to waste a... Waste a stim pack for that extra two health. Because I am afraid. Not afraid, I mean just being cautious. I ain't scared. Alright, turn the corner. Well, looky here. I don't recall giving out invites to Brotherhood of Steel Dogs. <laughs> I bet my boss will give me all the promotion and props. Alright, horse, you're done talking. Oh, we didn't start the combat yet. Ouch. Yes, Farsight is dead. Stop reminding me, you're gonna... you're gonna give me some like PTSD off the battle. Alright, let's get shot. Stitch is gonna have a There we go. You hit him again. Nope, that's bad. Alright, 
Avatar's doing work over here. Stitch is tanking it pretty well. Pitch him off, thank you. And move up. Oh, that's something back on Overwatch. Now Stitch is almost dead. Oh no. Uh oh. Really can't have that happening. No. <laughs> it's just us. Let's see if we can pull through this. We've lost the medic and the sniper. We have a room full of four, three enemies to go through. That first level is rough. I remember that. Twenty percent is very good. Move up a little bit. I don't want a terrible chance. The idea that was, let's actually move back so we only have to fight two of them. Let's... Maybe I can move up behind this pillar. Then we only have to deal with one. Risky, let's try it. Just slowly walk through the firefight. It's cool ourselves topped off on health. Looks like she can actually still see us. And we're dead. Your last breath uh, is a Well isn't that a shame? It's a pretty rough game. It's a hard game. Maybe we'll try again later. Thanks for joining me, bye. -bye.